Move from 20 ping to 4, 3, 5 ping. Which it also feels... <laughs> that's actually insane. I haven't I, I ran on it yet, but this actually feels like so much... Like the response time just feels like insane. Like it's gonna... So if your ping is anything like mine, from around 18 to 20 to 16, and you wish you could be on that hard zero, well today we're gonna show you how to get your ping from being high to a lot lower, and it takes a few steps. Now I know I know a lot of you guys don't think 18 to 19 to 20 ping is high, but you'll see the difference between my ping now and then at the end of the video, so let's get right into it. So the first thing you wanna do is go to the description of today's video, click on the thingy that says free tweaks it'll take you straight to this discord and in this discord you can scroll down to the free tweaks option where there's all these different options of things we've covered before and we're going to look at the network panel for today and in the network panel there is something called a video tutorial you could watch but you're watching one right now so don't worry about that and then right underneath that is the download link and then you go ahead and click download on that and then that will take you to your downloads let me go ahead and make sure this downloads once it has downloaded it, you can go ahead and not open it quite yet. You want to go to your files and then go to downloads, right click it here. It says Ryzen Network Panel V2. Make sure you have V2, not the other version, which is V1, obviously. And then run this as admin. And it's going to create a restore point. And that is very, very important because if anything happens that you don't like, let's say your ping is actually higher from this, which it won't be, it will actually be lower, then you can go ahead and go right back to where you were but make sure when you open this to close fortnite in the background for all changes to take effect and sorry for the um screen going black anyways once you have this open it starts off with msi utility so that is where we're going to start basically you click one and then click enter and then after clicking enter this thing's going to pop up and you click ok that's that load and it brings you to this big confusing screen that's not so confusing once you understand it so let's talk about it now when you get in here you want to find your wi-fi adapter and that isn't really too hard to do now i know a lot of you guys aren't going to know what it is so what you want to do is click this type in run go ahead and open up this run command system and type in ncpa dot cpl and go ahead and click enter and that right here will show you the one that you are connected to now if there's an x on it you're not connected if you're an ethernet like i am then that is what you're connected to and then don't worry about the wi-fi if you're etherneted now you can see what yours is just by hovering over this as you can see i have the i219 whatever so we're gonna go ahead and minimize that and find that on here which is right here i219v and then you want to make sure this is checked off and then all the way on the right underneath this interrupt priority go to this drop down and put this on high after you've done that you go ahead and click apply at the top right and then you're good to go once you've hit apply go ahead and close this click any key to continue and let's move on which moving on would be number two which is adapter settings so go ahead and click two and then click enter and then from here it opens up this thing and then it also opens up this as well so you have your notepad for the guide and then you have this we're going to right click this and then go to properties and then right here, you see all of these connections and basically follow what I do. So in here, you're going to basically be disabling literally everything except for if there's an exit lag option for some of y'all, which I don't have because I don't use exit lag, then you keep that checked on if you do use exit lag. But from here, go ahead and uncheck pretty much everything, but leave version four and then go down and then leave version six and then uncheck all these then you're good. Once you've unchecked everything, go ahead and click OK, and then right click this again, go back into properties, go down to, go back to version 4 here, and then click configure, and then from configure, click yes, that is fine. And then you want to go to power management and make sure all of this is unchecked, which, go ahead and do it just like that. And then you want to go over to advanced, and then this is where you're going to need the guide. So you can drag them next to each other, whatever makes it easier for you. So on the right here, there's a bunch of things underneath disable. that You want to disable all of these except for flow control. You want to leave it on auto negotiation. Now, if you don't have any of these settings here, that is okay. It's not the end of the world. You just don't worry about it, right? So we're going to go down the list and, you know, disable all these. Now, once you've done that, it's going to disconnect you from the Wi-Fi for a quick second, but you're good to go, and it'll reconnect you right away. So, make sure you have nothing open important in the background, like whether you're doing a YouTube video, talking to friends, or anything like that, because it's going to disconnect you. And then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close both of these, because you're not going to need them anymore. Now, we're going to go to number three, which is disable limiting. It will successfully disable limiting, so you're good to go. Next, we're going to go to four, and then that is done as well. So... What disable limiting does is basically it disables the cap that it puts on your Wi-Fi 
And that overall, as you can imagine, allows you to have the fastest speeds possible for your internet. And then after that, you are good to go. You can close this, make sure you restart your PC to see all changes take effect, and that is it. Okay, so I just got done restarting my PC. As you can see, let's take a look at this, go to my task manager, go to this, uh, the uptime of three minutes. I literally turn my PC on and load it up. And as you can see, we went from 20 ping to four, three, five ping, which it also feels, <laughs> that's actually insane. I haven't, I haven't ran on it yet, but this actually feels like so much, like the response time just feels like insane. Like it's kind of... It's kind of crazy how that feels. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not even like glazing it right now. Like, genuine one ping, dude. Three. That is insane, bro. That's insane. That's insane. I'm sorry. This is actually, this is like my honest response. Like, it was my first time seeing it. So, it's kind of crazy to look at it. My ping just hit zero, bro. It's on zero. Dude, that is actually wild. But, yeah. As you can see, it clearly works. So, that's, that's great. That's good to know. And um, if you'd like to try it out, the link is in the description. It's under the part that says free tweaks. That is the Discord link, not just tweaks. So click that, go to Discord, try it out. Because as you can see, it worked crazy for me. So make sure make sure you guys um, like the video, subscribe, share it to a friend that needs better internet. And I'm going to free build on this for a little bit because uh, why not? Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video.